Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Elani's Love. And today we are going to be transforming this beautiful platinum blonde into the stargazer. So make sure y'all stay tuned. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go color by color and let you know what brand I'm using. So for this beautiful neon yellow, this is um, by Adore Hair Color and this is actually called Cosmic Yellow. I love the brightness of this. I do like working with Adore when it comes to, um, to weaves because it does stick really well. But as far as blending, um, they actually blend very good. But Adore does give me a little bit of bleeding so just be mindful of that if you're using a door and you don't want your colors to touch and bleed but besides that like the pigment on point all right you see this color i want to do a wig with just like all this color but i gotta work my way into it but yeah yes guys So for this panel here, this is going to be like a peekaboo color. It's not something that's going to be like on the forefront, but it's going to be like you're going to see it slightly, just a slight little hint. So this is our peekaboo panel. And just make sure guys, when you are coloring hair, make sure you fully saturate each strand because you don't want to see any blotchiness. You don't want to see pieces that are still blonde unless that's the look you're going for. But yeah, as you see me here, I'm massaging the hair rubbing it in working it in and you can also overwork color if you start to see suds when you are applying color you might be overworking it so you just kind of got to be mindful of both and just take your time and have fun with it painting hair is just like so therapeutic to me this is one of my favorite pastimes all right so this beautiful color that you see up next is hot pink from Joyco Color Intensity. I love Joy uh, Joyco Color Intensity because like their pigments are just so popping, and it is a thicker consistency than Adore, so you just have to be mindful of that. So sometimes you end up using a little bit more, but um, the color is there. Is there? I love this color. This hot pink from Joyco. Yes, ten out of ten. Um, I'm gonna be using fuchsia fusion from adore on the bottom and i'm going to be blending those together so yeah just watch me work watch me work so another tip i'm going to give you guys is that you definitely want to use foils and separate your colors foils is just going to make sure that your colors don't touch and start running together and start looking muddy if you mix colors together that don't really go and they touch each other you get these little ugly spots don't do that boo don't do that anyway now on to our next color is cupid from pulp riot so i also love pulp riot because of their bright colors the pigment these colors do not bleed like when you work with these they don't bleed and they are they're not hard to blend but they're you gotta work them more to blend them um it has a consistency like joyco color intensity but they these are some of my faves that i just love using Yes, so this next color is Platinum from Adore. The only thing I didn't like about this color is that, like, it just wasn't giving Platinum. I don't know why they call it Platinum and it's not Platinum, but yeah. Yeah, whatever. Like, that's the only thing I don't like about Adore is sometimes the colors are not true to what you see on the bottle. You gotta, like, actually do, a, um, like, a swatch. But it's okay. The color still looks nice. So I'm going to stick with it for now. But it's not the color I was going for. I was hoping for more like a silvery color. Which is what's on the bottle. But again. Hey. It is what it is. All right, so now I'm going to be going back in with that fuchsia color and I'm just going to be doing a little shadow routage because one thing about me is your girl love a shadow root. And I'm also going to be adding like some stripes on the bottom or just giving it a little dimension, um, a pattern, a texture. I don't know what to call this. I'm doing um, what I'm doing on the bottom, but 
this is like one of my favorite techniques that I've been doing um, lately and I think I'm just gonna run with it but yeah this color the fuchsia with the the blonde is just giving me like lily vibes it's a, a stargazer lily it's like a pink and white flower that has like this line a little bit of lime green in it and different color purples and pinks so that's what I started thinking about as I was looking at this wig and as I was coloring it so I was just like you know what let me just run with it but yeah I had so much fun coloring this and yeah that's it guys if you need help um, with any of your coloring or you need advice, feel free to shoot me a DM. I can do one-on-ones with you. I do virtual calls. So if you have any coloring questions, feel free to hit me up. I'm always open to help. But um, yeah, like, wait till y'all see the final reveal though. Like, seriously. Oh my god, I cannot believe she let me walk out with my hair not done. Like she did not finish my hair. She ain't even curly. Got me out here looking crazy. Like, why she do that? Like, come on, sis. Just cause I ain't wanna pay an extra 50 to get it styled. Nah, y'all know I couldn't let sis leave like that. You here she go. Stargazer. So you see the texture I was saying I was gonna add at the bottom? yes with the peekaboo lime green like i'm just loving these colors guys i love flowers i want all my wigs to have flower colors in them so yes just give it up for the stargazer make sure y'all check out my instagram and like these posts if you was bold enough to rock this like let me know in the comments because i know this ain't for everybody but it's for me and let me know what kind of colors y'all want to see coming up next on my next units. I will be releasing some braided wigs this summer. Um, the bright, colorful braided wigs. So make sure y'all also check that out on my page on Instagram. Leilani. Leilani's Love. And make sure you check out my website if you guys want to order any pre-designed wigs. www.leilanislove.com If you feeling this, like, sis, thumbs up. I hope you subscribed because if you're not, you need to go do that now and turn on your notifications. Be down with the love squad. And thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, peace and love.